Nikita, I don't understand why we have to drive all the way to Ohio to ride a stupid roller coaster. Yeah, besides, they're still not gonna let you on. You haven't actually lost any weight. Oh, I think my lithe figure would suggest otherwise. A girdle is not a substitute for weight loss, people. I'm sorry, sir. You're too fat to ride the coaster. Oh, darn it. Yeah, why don't you go back to your pond, hippo? <laughs> How about me, sir? Am I? You're so pretty. I miss you. <laughs> well, this is... What the hell? Looks like it's the radiator. Well, we're just gonna have to find a local mechanic. On a Friday evening? Hey, uh, excuse me, fella? Yeah, we're looking for a room? Are ye indeed outsiders? We do not see many of your folk in these parts, but we welcome all of God as they're attacking. Guys, we're under attack! By who? I don't know! Oh, it's Cobra. Oh. Hotel in Amish country can't be any worse than staying in a youth hostel. Hi, I'd like a room. Uh, preferably one where I have to sleep with my bag taped to my body. Uh, we have one where some Italian backpackers have laid out every item of clothing they own on all of the beds. Oh, perfect. Will my bunkmates be con- Yes, but only because people sometimes search for Amish farms on their iPhones. Here comes one now. Meg. Eli! What are you doing with that outsider? Her name is Meg, Father, and I was just showing her our community. <laughs> hey there, young one. Why so sad? It's just that I really like this boy, but his dad... Whoop, look out. Ah! Sorry there. Didn't realize how long it had been since old Dumper did his business. He'll be... What's wrong? Eli's father, Ezekiel, said that I can't see him anymore. <laughs> Please? All right, I'll do it. But don't expect any miracles. I'm not good with confrontation. Like when I got stuck behind that giraffe at the ball game. Yeah! Nice hit! Frozen rope! Awesome! What just happened? Crown rule double! Woo! I crazy. Please make us humble and deliver us more hardship that we may get thick, calloused hands much larger than other people's. And grant that we become dull, like Eric Banner, who we have never seen, but are just going by reputation. Who must be Mr. Griffin? Look, I, I know you guys are busy with your bond raising and all, but, um, you know, I just wanted to tell you how much my daughter Meg loves your boy, Eli. I, I promise you, she ain't trying to corrupt him or nothing. Mr. Griffin, with all due respect, we live in two different worlds. Well, I am about to change your mind. Introducing rock and roll. <laughs> to the outside world. Dad, what's happening? I thought you talked to him. Sir, please, whatever your quarrel is with my husband, I'm sure it's probably justified, but I'm begging you, don't punish the children for it. They're innocent in all this. Innocent, are they? I found this. Sexy. Goodbye, Abraham Lincoln people. <laughs> I'm sorry, Meg. Eli was the... Eli, I agree that your father was being somewhat unreasonable, but I don't think running away is the answer. I know, Mrs. Griffin, and I am sorry, but I just could not bear the thought of never seeing Meg again. You ever seen one of these, Eli? You're supposed to do that. Ha-ha! I have done your chores to rob you of the joy of doing chores. You bastard! Peter, we don't have a choice. We've got to bring Eli back. Oh, no, we don't. What are you talking about? <laughs> Quilters, advance! I bet this hurts so much! Enough of 
for this crap! Ezekiel! Community and corrupting me! But look at yourself! You're the one who's allowed yourself to be corrupted! God in heaven! You are right! I am deeply ashamed. I only wanted to- This is where I belong. I'm sorry if this upsets you, Meg. I love you, Eli. I'll always love you. If this is what you have to do, then all I can say is, I'll never forget you. King's Highway. Math. <laughs> Math, my dear boy, is nothing more than the lesbian sister of biology. Coming this way. Hmm. I, too, have an uncle. Come in. How much is this volcano insurance? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let, let's say $200. 200 No! What the hell are you doing? Watching you sleep, cutie pie. Why, you sick, sick little moo cow. You shall... Are you happy? I've never been happy. Oh, don't worry, honey. We'll get you a new pair tomorrow. Yes, and in the meantime, here's a little vision test. What is this? A poopy or a Toblerone? You're my third best friend in the whole world. Third? Who are the first two? Ben and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime. Television for idiots. Peter, did you take the money? I mean it this time. I do too. Peter, that was our emergency money. And your daughter just so happens to need a new pair of glasses. Lois, no one really needs glasses. You are glasses. That makes you a pedophile. And I'll be damned if I'm going to stand here and be lectured by a pervert. Can you believe it, Cleveland? Lois thinks I'm bad with money. She's got a point, Peter. Accountant Lurie Rosenblatt just got me a huge tax refund. And tickets to bring in the noise, bring in the funk. The noise was good, but I thought they phoned in a lot of the funk. He's an excellent provider. No, mother, I do not think I'd be better off married to a chimp. I don't care how well that chimp across the street is doing. Really? Dress dancing speck of light, I need a Jew. Lois, a Baumorstein or Stein. To teach me how to whine and do my thing. Though by many... Hi. Listen, uh, thanks for letting me use the phone. Thanks for space balls. Yeah, well, if there's anything I can ever do for you... You can't leave! Hey! Look, I'll do what I can, but I don't know why you think I can get your money back. Hey, Max, 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 let's not deny our heritages. You're Jewish, you're good with money. I'm Irish, I drink... And it offers no coverage at all. It just says volcano insurance over and over again. And down here in small print it says, he's signing it, he's signing it, I can't believe it. So? So just refund this... Hey, honey, guess what? I got back the money for Meg's glasses. Really? Oh, honey. Uh, hello. This is my special friend, Max Weinstein. He's Jewish. Oh. Dunk. Taking credit for something a smart Jewish person did. Oh, that's okay, Pete. No, no, no. People have been doing that for too damn long. It is the white devil that has propagated, exacerbated. I, I can't eat this. Oh, because it's not kosher. Yeah, let's go with that. Can Suey and me be excused? He's gonna help me with my math homework. Chris, he's just a times. Yeah, it's like the time he soiled himself at that dinner party. I was so sorry to hear that your father passed away. Yes, it spread through his body so fast, but he's at peace now, and the whole thing... <laughs> You just pick it up already! So, it is not that I have ideological differences, I'm, I'm just not a hat person. Hey, look! I didn't know the principal of Meg's school was Jewish. Hey, there's Bill Nye, the science guy. And half of Lenny... Two. Uh-oh! 
Well, that was so nice. A good sermon and such beautiful songs. Yeah, it was just like that other Jewish musical we saw. Hey, Mr. Weinstein, I thought you were going to help me with my homework. Well, I'm sorry, son. I have to go, but I'm, I'm sure you'll do just fine. I don't know, Max. The kid's not exactly an honor roll student. Watch. Hey. He did it. Book, please. Tony Robbins hungry. <laughs> Oh, Lois, I'm gonna make Chris Jewish. What are you talking about? For you, the sky's the limit. We're gonna take you down to that synagogue and turn you Jewish. Okay! Chris, duck. Today. A bar mitzvah, perfect! How much for one of those? You can't just buy a bar mitzvah. It requires a lot of study. Well, can we skip that point? I mean, come on, if Chris knew how to study, he wouldn't need to become time commitment and blow through it in about 20 minutes. Unappreciated. And in the comedy competition, Stewie Griffin receives. <laughs>